We are going south on on the President George Bush Tollway. Okay. Uh, and we were in the left side of the road in the shoulder. So we are by, but like the middle, the center, the what's the center shoulder called? So not the not by the slow lane. We are by the fast lane, okay. off in the gravel. Once we had pulled, so we the car, the car had. Uh, come to a stop in the fast lane. We went around it and pulled over. So I had to run back up the road to get to him. And as I'm running back up the road, I just see him kind of starting to get out of his car. And so I get there and I'm trying to wave him to the side and make sure he gets out of the road because he's right in the fast lane. And his car is like pretty beat up, but it's not terrible. It didn't look like, you know, the front was smashed in a little bit. It looked like the airbags had deployed, but it wasn't like, it wasn't like a complete destruction of the car. So I was assuming, you know, he was hurt, but not, he wasn't going to be knocked out or, you mm -hmm. know, even worse. So mm -hmm. he got out of the car, we talked for a second. And then as we were kind of dialoguing about how he felt, was he okay? Could he make phone calls? Could he, you know, call 911, that sort of stuff. That's when I see out of the peripherals of my eye. So I'm looking this way, talking to him, and out of the corner of my eye, I see a car. And by the time I see it, it's like five feet away from me. And it's going probably 40 or 50 miles per hour, somewhere in that range. So I have no time to react. The only thing I can think to do is just jump and turn and just try to flex and keep my body tight. And that first 10 seconds of hitting the ground, I think I'm paralyzed because I can't move my hands, I can't move my feet, and I'm trying to get myself to move. And so my brain's like cognizant of I need to move, I need to move, but I can't. And so I'm thinking I'm paralyzed, but I about 10 seconds later I keep thinking that and slowly my hands start moving and my feet start moving and then I'm moving my arms and I'm like, okay, I think I'm good. I need to get up and I need to get to my wife who's in the car still and I'm afraid she's in danger of getting hit as well. So I think I need to get up, force myself to get up and then kind of hobble my way to her and get her out of the car to get her to the other side of the median so that if a car does come and hit her, at least she'll be kind of behind the barrier, the wall, and she'll be okay. As I would do it again and I would help again, I would just be more aware of what was going on around me and mm -hmm. trying to be more aware of just the other traffic.